Okay, guys. Can, can you two monetize our videos and then subsequently demonetize them? <laughs> I mean, they could if they wanted to. But here's the thing. So we've been getting a lot of complaints lately. They're just way too negative, you know? And so, uh... I, 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 I think in this episode, I think in this episode, Tanner, no one talks. Tanner, us. this is what I'm talking about. We're too negative. In this episode, we're gonna we're gonna be nothing but positive the entire time. That's awesome. Yeah, there we go. Lucas has a spirit. Do you, Tanner? Nah, my spirit left <laughs> when I nutted on it for first. <laughs> <laughs> Tanner's gonna be like the Ebenezer Scrooge of no, no, no. no. <laughs> He's gonna get the ghost of nuts present, past, and future. <laughs> it's just gonna be all of those potential aborted fetuses. You just, Piles of them. Just Tiny Tim who, or whoever works in my law office. He looks behind the door and he just hears from behind the door. <laughs> Tanner, if you have like Tip that, you orphans. Oh boy! Oh no! <laughs> uh, Tanner, uh -oh. yeah. If you had like Jeff Bezos money, would you just hire people to do stupid things just because you could? I don't understand why rich people don't do whatever they want. Exactly. Like they can. Why don't they? Yeah. Like why can't? The only reason I think we should take money away from the rich is so that we can give it to people who will actually do something cool with that money. Yeah. Like me! Like Elon Musk. Yeah. Why can't we have more irresponsible rich people like Elon Musk? Yeah, why can't Jeff Bezos just hire a guy to stand outside of his bathroom and whenever he but makes, Tanner, he comes out and high-fives him and says that's good job It's not irresponsible because how much notoriety has Elon Musk gained by being a meme, you know? Very much notoriety. Yeah, it's like... It's Dado's birthday. Now let's do a tea party. Okay. I think he likes tea, dude. Zawa! <laughs> <laughs> he likes mint, right? Did did Doody looks like a JoJo's character, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. He's he, a very handsome man. He's got the earring going on. I think that's a thing yeah. in JoJo's. They're all gay as hell. This is very JoJo's. Look at him. He I, keep posing. He's so straight, and yet a new gambit. Dang thing. it! Come on, Tanner. Come on. Tanner. Security. There Yay. you go. Oh. Likeable allies. Well, probably should have gone with Dining Hall, actually. Yeah. He's Why? a big food guy. Is he? Oh, absolutely. So here, here's the thing about all of his support conversations. They're either, wow, Dudu, you're so great at cooking food. Dudu, you should talk to more people and forget about your days in dusk or whatever because we don't care about it. <laughs> Or, um, I hate you, to do because you're brown. <laughs> exactly. I love that he eats it up. Yeah. I really love that art, uh, that stick coming out of the wall. It's pretty cool, man. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh, boy, we, we made it to this part. We're all the way over here now. I'll tell you what, Tanner. Yeah. I don't know why, but Fire Emblem is just the series where I check out the most, and I have no idea whatever is happening. I mean, you you know, you've already seen all of it. Yeah, but like even before I started playing the game, I was just not paying attention at all. Yeah. What if we were like Bionicles, and we could like just like detach our muscles? Like, what if I could just grab my cap and just like pull it up? <laughs> Why a, would you want to do that? There would be a vast black market of people stealing muscles and stuff from, yeah. like, athletes and then selling them. That sounds even That would make better. life so much more interesting. The only reason Usain Bolt would still be an athlete is because no one can catch him to steal his muscles. He never sleeps. He must always run to make sure no one can take from him. Yeah. <laughs> In the end, it just makes him stronger. Look, it's Gilbert, guys. Oh. I HAVE A LONG TIME AGO! <laughs> That's a good joke, I like that one. Yeah. Finally, some at, something actually interesting. <laughs> Cross or no cross? Yeah? Oh, Tender, so how uh, into Family Guy are you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't, don't watch what Family Guy. Like? No? Do you know their basic, like how they make the sketches in the show though? Do you understand the basic rhythm for it? Or they what? make a reference to something and then keep referencing the thing. Yeah, there you go. What are we talking That's about? That's all there is to it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Family Guy, Lucas. Oh. Tanner. 
Yeah, let's make a family. So, all right. Okay, so... Peter's sitting on the couch. Yes, Lucas, you and I make a family guest sketch. Forget about Tanner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peter's a... sitting on the couch. Yes. Uh, watching TV. He goes, Lois. Lois, and my And Lois wife. doesn't answer. And then he goes in the bathroom to find Lo- the, uh, the kitchen to find Lois, because that's where everyone hangs out most of the time. Lois, are you in the bathroom like a woman would be? <laughs> and um, he goes in there, and she's still gone. And then he goes... To the kitchen, the bathroom. Yep. And she's gone. And then he goes to the bedroom. And boom! There's the chicken. Fuck, pork and his wife. Well, then him and the chicken have an epic battle. That's, that's the whole episode. I think that's an actual Family Guy episode. I'm sure it is. I'm positive that that Tanner, is. Tanner, do, you know, do you know that running gag in Family Guy where him and this chicken mascot have a huge rivalry and every once in a while they have just this gruesome bloody fist fight? I, I've seen the gifts. Kyler, stop messing with my clothes hangers. Stay focused. Are you Don't trying to either. abort a fetus with those clothes hangers? Whoa, stop! Where'd you even get a fetus? <laughs> that sounds like a Family Guy. <laughs> Sketch that they do. It was, it, it was an American Dad yeah. bit. Lois. I don't think I don't think it was Tanner. Yeah, I know the one you're thinking of. That ain't it. Well, you know, obviously they didn't actually abort a fetus. Well, no, that wasn't the it's joke. It's an though. animated show, Nico. Come on, of course they didn't actually do <laughs> no. it. Tanner, the joke was that they're like, wait, well, there's only one thing we can do to figure out this whole pregnancy situation. Oh, that's yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, Francine got a vacuum and he got a coat hanger. But the Bobby joke was that they weren't actually going to do I've got a feeling that it's going to be a wonderful day. Lucas! Uh, yeah. Who's your favorite character in American Dad? <laughs> Peter. <laughs> I also like Peter it's from the same American show. Dad. I like Joe well, now. The disabled one. <laughs> I remember that guy? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Kyle, you got a real thing with disabled people today. Yeah, I know. Oh, he's always had a thing for disabled people. Right. Whoa, he has on Moss. We were just talking about you earlier. Are you going to take Kyler with you and shoot him into space in a car? You want to see what Mars looks like? That's not how you talk. You want to see what Mars looks like? No. Alright. <laughs> Wait, Elon, I want to see Mars. Long application process, talk to my secretary, Karen. Elon, how long until we're gonna get those genetically engineered cat girls? Please. About four. Four what, Elon? Four what? Days? Weeks? Four. Years? <laughs> Seconds, please bring them out. Four. Bye, Elon. Bye, Elon. What a nice young man. I mean, it's not that nice. He wouldn't shoot you into space. Why was he pretending to hold the smoke? Uh, Tanner, you fool. Now you're going to fall under mortar fire and they're going to (laughs) completely destroy you. They're going to invent invent mortars early and then kill me. Oh, I thought this was in the future. Tanner, you're leaving Gilbert back there all all on his own. He's going to die. Nah, he's fine. What? The old G-Dog? He's going to be okay? Yeah, he's going to be fine. Okay. (laughs) We'll see how powerful his god really is. (laughs) <laughs> this is a mission where Cyril died for me. Yeah, you had Cyril. This is like almost immediately after you can recruit him. Yeah, that's why he immediately died. I didn't care too much about him, so I kind of just left him to do his own thing. Who, is Cyril the slave it. boy? Yeah. Uh, listen, he's very happy and very I, enthusiastic I'm sure to he work is for because free. he's not old enough to understand what's happening. Oh, I love slavery. Listen. Uh, Rhea is very nice to him, okay? <laughs> Every once in a while, she gives him a cookie. <laughs> That's all he eats. <laughs> I like Ciro because he says it how it is, you know? He speaks his mind. He tells Manuel she a hoe. Does he? Yeah, it's a support conversation with them. Yo, Manuel's a hoe, Get right? this yeah. hoe. Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite line from JoJo. You remember that one, Nico? I remember that after watching JoJo. Oh, that's right. You haven't seen it. It's that's what Silver Chariot says. No, no. Yeah. Silver Chariot doesn't talk. 
That's what Reverb Act 3 says, because for some reason he talks like... I don't know, like like a street kid or whatever. But like he's in a hospital with bad English. Of course. Yeah, with bad English. He, the The character who has him is in a hospital, and he's trying to find a person, like a person in a room. And the secretary is like, "I'm sorry, we can't tell you where that person is." And so he takes out his stand, and his stand says, "Let's kill the hoe, bitch." This just sounds like the Boondocks Tanner. No, he says B. He uses E's, Tanner. Oh, because he can't a, speak English very well. Because he's a memer. Yeah. Yep, that's a rogue. Did you see that? That rogue shot fireballs at you. Yeah, dude. Yeah, hey, you should man, kill that. A true rogue doesn't listen to what abilities they can and cannot use. This is what I do. Tanner, you should uh, uh, zoom in more on your characters. Play the game that way. Okay. There you go. Now play like this. Perfect. If you go to your other characters, yeah, look at all those people, Tanner. Look at them. Check that out. Wow. You have such a big arm. Oh boy, this is awful. I like it. This, this is kind of rough, but hey, this is what Nico wants. That's right. This is Fire Emblem Warriors now. We did it. Is that the only reason why this is even a mode? Because they use the engine from Fire Emblem Warriors? I can only assume so, yeah. Hey, but you can run freely. Yeah, you can. <laughs> can we get can we get that last one with the Yoda death sound over? <laughs> I'll see what I can do for you, Lucas. I'll see what I can do. Don't I edit Fire Emblem? No, I do. What? You had asked for a change? This is what happened last week, Tanner. You uploaded asked What's the for Triforce for? What is that blatant Triforce that's, for? Uh, that that's... means he has Battalion on it. Yeah, that's my Battalion yeah. HP or something. You have a cool sword. Yeah? yeah. You are grasping your father's so sword. sword. The creator. I don't remember getting that already. <laughs> Man. Yeah, we got that like a, like maybe last mission. Okay. Wow. This game looks like lots of fun. Dude, this game is epic, Kyler. Don't you even bash it, okay? Wow. This game's great. I love this game. Yeah, make, love make sure this, you, you this, let them wait. I think this game should win Game of the Year. Honestly, you know what? In the next episode, we're going to go over that. We're going to find out what the Game of the Year is going to be. Bye-bye.